Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use this long exposure style dynamic effect in your product renders using Motion Blur in Kisha Studio. First, we add motion to our model. In this example, I'm using a rotation animation, but you can use any type of animation you prefer. Next, we adjust the direction and duration of the animation. Make sure the motion ends at the exact angle or position you want your product to be shown. Then we enable the motion blur setting and adjust the shutter speed. Keep in mind that the lower the shutter speed value, the stronger the blur effect will be. This value corresponds to the real world concept of shooting at 1 divided by x seconds. After that, move the timeline cursor in the animation bar toward the end of the motion. The closer the timeline is to the end of the animation, the sharper the final image will appear. You can use the trial and error here to achieve the look you want. Finally, if you plan to render an animation, set your desired FPS value to control how many frames per second your video will take. This allows you to achieve more artistic and dynamic results. Creating dynamic and artistic touches for your products in Kisha Studio is that easy. Thanks for watching and see you next time.